Hi, I'm Nadia and this time I'm going to show you how you can use Google Jamboard to create fun and interactive activities in your online classes like this to spice up your students' learning experience. As you know, I love using Google Jamboard in class because it's really easy to operate. Even 5 years old can master it in only one meeting. Also, you can share it among students so they can work at the same time in the same file and it improves their collaboration. Alright, let's dive in. I'm going to show you how. First, to go to Jamboard from Google Chrome, click Google Apps and find Google Jamboard, click it or just type jamboardtutorial.com and it will bring you to all your gems you can see all of your gems here or gems by people who have shared theirs with you you can refresh this page and you can sort it based on the gems that you last open or modified also, you can change the view into row view or grid view. In the grid view, you can click this arrow. You can see all of the frames inside of the gem. Also, you can rename, download this as PDF and also erase it permanently. To make a new gem, click new gem icon here, the plus icon and it will bring you to an empty gem you can name them here i'll bring you to my existing gem here first tool on the bottom is laser tool you can use it to point on the image that you want the students to focus on then on top of it there's an add image icon you can upload an image from your device you can move the image with the select tool over here also you can resize it you can duplicate it or you can delete it also you can tilt them rotate them as you wish beside uploading from your device you can also search image from google image search or you can take the image from your google drive or photos that you have on the top of the add image icon there's a sticky note you can use different colors to write down anything you want on the top here there's a different type of pen that you can choose you have pen marker highlighter and brush that you can use to write with different thickness you can also use this to color images in case you want to do some type of coloring activity with your students you can erase it with the eraser tool over here like that as you can undo them redo them you can change the background and you can simply erase everything by doing clear frame on the top there is a button to expand the frame bar so you can see the whole frames that you've got you can go to the left and to the right with these arrows also you can duplicate this page and also delete it okay but the thing with Jamboard you can only make maximum 20 frames because you already have 19 if I add one more hmm, it will pop you can't create any more frames so you can't add any more things next there's a three dots you can rename your gem and then you can download it as pdf or save frame as image this one is really useful if you don't want your students to move around the element on your pages 
so you can simply save it as a frame it will pop up here you can also move this to position that you want when you insert the image that you just made that one it will prevent the students to move the elements on the page see the difference here you can move them one by one but that one you can't to share the file to the students, click this button. Currently, this is private to only me, but if you share it, you will have two choices. You can write down the email of the students that you want to share. And then, change it to edit because you want the students to be able to edit it. Yeah? Right, and then send person edit when you check it to her email she will receive that one and then she, if she click this you can see that the icons over here means ISA already joined in this so this is me the owner and this one is my students so if I yes, I move to different page, yes, I can see her moving. Yeah. So in Jamboard we can monitor students' position as well. Beside using the email, we can also get the link here by changing the restricted to anyone with the link chase viewer with editor permission updated copy the link yeah. and then you can give the link to uh, your students and when they join in it will look like this Jamboard can also be accessed through phones and it comes with additional tools called assistive drawing tools if you click pen so it allows you to change your handwriting from here to this at last even though Jamboard is packed with all goodness it also has some problems because it only allows us to create maximum 20 frames and it can't crop images or copy paste other frames from different gem so to do that you have to use snipping tools outside of Jamboard and then insert the images here also it can't insert other than PNG and JPEG so no audio video PDF and other background so if you really need that to be used in your class feel free to use Google Slides I hope this tutorial is beneficial please try it out thank you so much for watching bye